All right, welcome back. This is Upstart ha Madhawk. All right. So we last left off. All right, looking for trouble. Shannon's plan is the best lead you've got to find out more about the Ripper. But getting back into the warehouse is going to require some support. In case the Drek hits the fan, the Seamstress's union will have exactly what you need, a fixer. Finding this necessary middleman and deal broker is key to most plans involving Shadowrunners. A good fixer is worth the union. It's their job to have the contacts and know who's good at what. They'll put together the team you need, magical support, skilled street samurai for muscle, or a Nova sh Well, that was, uh, yeah, I didn't press any buttons. Okay, well, basically we're, we're going to assemble a team. Hey, Dash, there's a woman looking for you, Jessica something. She's waiting for you by the stage. Bella View type. Wouldn't order anything. Wouldn't touch anything. I think she's afraid of diseases or something. Thanks, Jerry. No charge, chummer. Why is the bar so empty? We don't get much action in early afternoon. Just a few salarymen slumming Tourstville and hoping to talk to Madam Sinful and some diehard regulars. Madam Sinful? That's what the downtown folks call Mrs. Kobato. It's a tourist bill thing. They like to have her, like her to have a naughty name like that. Uh, who's around? I just got in, but I think Cody's cleaning the back bar. Mr. Delilah is hanging out in his usual place. The vendors downstairs came in a few minutes after me. Oh, and Bartlett's here. Don't think you've met him yet. Who's Bartlett? John Bartlett. Big presence at the end of the bar. He's in the biz. Connected. You might want to meet him. Uh, I'm going to have a look around. Have fun. Alright. Talk to Jessica. John Bartlett. Full of life of a quick smile. The man tilts his head and watches you approach. Hey guy, what's shaking? Um, a little of this, a little of that. I hear that, oh my. I might have something for you if you got the new yen. Time is money, I'm listening. You ever hear of the Nephilim Network? Of course you have. And an, an in the know guy like you has to have heard of the premier Merc team out there. If you say so. We're a tight unit. We cost a bit more than the common rabble, but we're worth it. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. We got Jessica Watts. Coyote and Mr. Cluey. Uh, Jessica Watts. Let's check at a glance, you could tell that Sam's sister Jessica from a different world. The opposite of Sam in almost every way. Her suit is tailored, her eyes are sharp, and her style exudes authority. Mrs. Watts? Jessica Watts? She eyes you up and down warily. She does a good job of hiding it, but it is clear that she is well outside of her comfort zone. Yes, and you are? And Dash, looking into your brother Sam's death. My name's Dash. I used to work with your brother Sam. My friends call me Dash, and I counted Sam among them. Uh, Sam, I'm looking into your brother's death. I was told as much on the phone. A woman who called herself Coyote contacted me this morning to inform me that my brother was dead and that I should come to this place and speak to someone about an, invest an investigation. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. And I appreciate you coming all this way. 
I'm guessing the Barons isn't what you're used to. I must admit, it isn't. None of this is. She then furrows her brow, regarding you more critically. You're not the police. You're not with the police, are you? I'm getting that a lot lately, but no. By the look on her face, she is clearly struggling with this. I'll be honest. I would just as soon put this all behind me, and the fastest way to do that is through proper channels. Surely there is an official police investigation going on. Why not let the professionals handle this? I am a professional. But you must have better things to do than waste your time searching for whoever killed my low-life brother. Low life. Huh. We low lives have to stick together. Besides, I'm not doing it for free. With this kind of payday and a few things I'd rather be doing. First, Sam was my friend. Second, I'm being paid. Nah, that sounds right. First, Sam was my fr friend. And second, I'm being paid for my trouble. She seems generally surprised. Someone's paying you? I find it hard to believe anyone who really knew Sam would put up the money. Who is it? Sam, he hired me from beyond the grave. I don't understand. It's called Dead Man's Switch. It's triggered when he died. Am I to believe that my drunken sod of a brother hired you to find the person who killed him after he died? Her boardroom mask drops for a moment momentarily, and in a sigh she reveals a brief glimpse of real emotion. I left Seattle to get away from Sam and his bullshit. Now I'm back, he's dead, and I still have to deal with him. Jessica composes herself, and in a breath, the mask is back in place. Listen to me, Dash. You seem like a decent person, but I'm trying to move on with my life. Our mother killed herself last year, and Sam. Well, Sam was Sam. You know, I wor I've worked so hard to put my family issues behind me. I don't want to see this drag on. You're not asking me to quit, are you? No, I don't know, maybe. On the streets, honor still means something. I'm sticking with the job. Sam's paying a hundred thousand, can you beat it? Your brother had my back when I needed him. I can't walk away from this. On the streets, honor still means something. I'm sticking with the job. Honor? How about honoring the wishes of the living instead of the dead? She sighs. She's done. <sighs> Never mind. I can see that you're not going to let this go, and I respect that you're honoring my brother's memory in your own way, uh, but I hope you can understand how emotional this is for me. Jessica's demeanor instantly changes from reluctant to helpful in a span of single meditative breath. Maybe you can do things in a way that police can't, and maybe I can help. What do you need from me? Mm, a lot of options here. Uh, when was the last time you saw or spoke to Sam? It's been ages. I can't even remember. The bartender here recalls Sam complaining about arguments with his sister. There was a note on Sam's body. It sounded like an apology and offered to meet up and bury the hatchet. It was signed Jessica. That sounds good. I wrote many such notes in the beginning, but I haven't made such an effort in a long time now. I don't know why he would just, he would have kept it. Where were you on the night of Sam's murder? I will overlook the implied accusation and tell you that I was a fundraiser all at a fundraiser all evening. A very crowded fundraiser. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, were you and your brother close? I think I've made my feelings about Sam pretty clear, don't you? Uh, you don't seem to care whether his fi killer faces justice. Of course I want justice. I just can't let him drag me down again. Show her the picture of her and Sam's children. Jessica takes the photo from the from you guardedly, as if I might sting her, but the guard drops the moment she looks at it. Where where did you find this? She's Sam's bunk. 
can't believe it. He kept this? It was one of the last few possessions he had. She studies the old photo, several silent moments. What happened between you, the two of you? Things were a bit different back then. We were different. We were a family. Then after our father died, things began to change, and we couldn't get ba back to, nor to a new normal in our, with our dad around. There was always a reassuring order to our lives, but after everything got mixed up, you can never really appreciate the importance of a person in your life until you've gone, until they're gone. The remorse plays wet across her eyes and it seems that she's not just talking about her father. Jessica then steals herself to tell the rest. Sam tried to be the man of the house, he truly did, but he couldn't handle it. It was pretty soon he had spent every dime of our father's life insurance, every dime. After that was gone, Mom working two, three jobs, he spent all her money too. I couldn't stand the way he abused the, her trust, so finally I just had to leave. She holds the photo forward, one part of her ready to relinqu relinquish it along with the past, another looking to hold on to, to both. May I keep this? Uh, please do. I probably shouldn't have given it to her, but it is evidence, you know. Thank you. <clears throat> Did Sam have any enemies? Sam's biggest enemy was Sam. I don't know of any others. He would likely know better than me these days. Tell me about your mother and her death. She was a devout Catholic. I don't know... I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that she sacrificed her life for Sam and me. But he, but she turned a blind eye to what Sam was becoming, refusing to acknowledge his downward slide. I couldn't watch her do it anymore, and so I moved out. After I left, we dr drifted farther and farther apart. I wasn't here when she died. In fact, I didn't even know about it until I returned to Seattle five months ago. Where were you living before you moved back here? Cal Free. California Free State. California is their own independent state. <laughs> what brought you down here? Down there. Down there. It was less of what brought me he there than what made me leave here. I felt lost in Seattle. So I moved to California to see if I could find myself. And did you? Actually, yes. While I was there, I developed a whole new outlook on life. A vision for what the world could become, and I came back here to help make it happen. I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Miss Watts. Just as well, I need to get back to the office. But before I go, you should know that I'm re interfering my mother's my mother's body tomorrow, and I'm arranging to have Sam buried with her. The funeral is tomorrow at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, seven o'clock. You're more than welcome to attend. Mm. Wouldn't miss it. Goodbye, Dash. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stay safe. But to Karma. Talk to Coyote. Coyote is whip whipping down the back bar. She doesn't stop when you approach. Keeps her eyes on her work. Hey. Gino's death wasn't your fault, you know. Yep, I know. Listen, Dash, I don't want to talk about what happened with Gino, okay? What's done is done. Gino's dead. I'm alive, and that's all there is to it. It's the Barons, right? Nothing more to say. To do or say. I'm gonna be looking for work. Your kind of work. So, if something comes up, keep me in mind. I will. Pretty good. Okay, I gotta do this now. The afternoon checklist isn't gonna finish itself. Alright. Sir Delilah. Delilah. I never get these names right. If you are talking to me, there's business to transact, am I right? Of course you're right. It's your job to be right. 
There we go. This is correct. You are a smart guy. What can I do for you, smart guy? I need to put a crew together. You got a scratch, or you planning to pay me out of your earnings? Uh, how much is it going to cost me? Well, for your speed, hired will help will run. For, hired help will run you about twelve hundred ahead. If you start taking on tougher jobs, well, the more experienced the runner, the heart, the higher the rates. I can pay the runners up front. Excellent. We agree on terms. I got some runners on call if you'll if you got any special requests. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's see them. I got stuff to take care of first. Yeah. Mr. Clo. Glad to see you well, Dash. <clears throat> and you, Mr. Clo. Holding out on the holding down the fort, as always. Though people are all are more on edge than usual. Word got around that latest Ripper killing, and people aren't feeling safe. And when people feel unsafe, they either go to the ground or they huddle up. You notice how empty the streets are these days. That's because everyone's either locked in their squats hold up in places like this or seeking refuge in the nearest Universal Brotherhood chapter house. Safety numbers, Chummer. Not that we need numbers here. I got it covered. I bet you do. See you later, Mr. Cloway. Later. Alright. See here. I don't know. Well, go downstairs. So, live to see another day, have you? There remains to be seen. More work to be done. So long as you end up here in the end, not some work writer's table. And to the repeat customer means a person courting death more often. Uh, da, 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 da. Only life was so simple. Very well, then let's talk about how I can help. Ensure you come back alive once more. Uh, let's see, cyberware. Anything new? I feel like getting the data jack, but I want to wait that out for a little bit. Yeah, never mind. Curious if there's anything new right now. Uh, can I see what you got in stock? Let's see. So I don't see anything really new. Pretty much all the same stuff. Never mind. Say Eric Frischman. I'll take a look. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing new. So we're gonna go back up, I guess. Or I can check my stash. Say two of these got dock wagon and two. Can't say I got nothing in there. Meal. Yeah. We're gonna go up. Uh, I remember it was like four thousand. She gave me up front, so I'm going to see if I can lower that a bit because I don't want to spend too much. Let's see what we got. Shannon Half Sky is definitely going to be there. I have two slots for two runners. Uh, Adept, Decker. 
Elf Mage. I want to go cheap though. Oh, Nephilim. So the Nephilim are stronger, they're better, they're top notch. Fixer contacts. So yeah. Got I don't know, I feel like I I can well I could definitely go with a samurai because they're just melee well they're they're hardcore fighters, so they're gonna be good in any kind of fight really. Initiate Cyber Warrior, Combat Rigger, I want cheap. Cheap, 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 Tom, Brute. So, you know what, I'm gonna go with... Oh, uh, we got... Let's go with cheap. Alright, so we got Shaman here, it's 50. So, I got these two here. Zizria. Sharp as her blades, twice as dangerous. One hit, one kill in her. Re in her. Re She's got a machete and black scorpion. Shotgun and a rifle, kind of like me. So. Skills, cyberware. There's no difference in cyberware. Larger, too. Kind of like this guy, Full Monte. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Full Monte. Let's see. Should I go for Decker? I don't think I'm going to really need a Decker. But I could always use one, I guess. Just in case if there's something I need. Let's go with a. Uh, well, it saves me $100. 100 million. So, you know, I'm going to go with a Decker, but let me see what we got. We got the Morgana, Uzi, Shiny Bit has a machete, this. it's got a little bit more skill in there. So, you know, what? I'm going to go with her. It's going to save me a little anyways. Alright. You know what? If I go without her, save up a little more. Uh, but I might need her. I don't know. We'll see. video right here.